All right, so today, you and me, T, I have to say everybody's name, apparently, because no one can tell the difference between you and Nate. Yeah, we sound the same. Do you really, though? I mean, I... I don't know about that. Well, I mean, I said it. Why are you questioning it? Uh-oh. Yeah. So we wanted to take a look today at the five best Batmobiles in the Batman Arkham series. Now, here's the thing. The Batmobile, pretty widely criticized and hated from Arkham Knight. And understandably so. I mean, it's really jammed on the players' throats at every possible opportunity. But you have to think, it's still pretty cool. Like, you get to drive the Batmobile. Yeah, and we get a lot of real gems while we're playing, too. As far as, like, what they gave us for DLC... Even the starting one is cool, obviously, but like all of the Batmobiles that we were able to play as throughout the entire game was uh, pretty brilliant, I would say. It's so. just too bad they don't have battle mode. I, I don't know why they didn't take the time to add that in. To some you of know? them? Yeah, like yeah. They, re they really don't. Like It's just the skins that have battle mode, not the other Batmobiles. Oh, right. So that, yeah. that was a bit of a disappointment. But regardless, they're still fun to play as. Well, and even I think... Uh, well, it's on our list is one of them that we'll get into later. But yeah, yeah like they really said, could have had it. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so starting out, we actually have the Joker Mobile. This does have battle mode. It has its own drawback, though. You can't choose to play as it. Nope, you get to play as it once when you get to the end of the story. Um, and so that's kind of the downside with it. The crazy thing about it, though, is like the design of it and how it looks. Like The tires are teeth. There's the laughing mouth in the front of it with a bow tie underneath it. I love that touch there. I never the, noticed the bow tie, actually, until you just pointed it out. Yeah, the I just never tie. looked that closely at that. Yes, yes. Yeah, so the, the bow tie is incredible. It looks great. I love the colors all the way around. You have the gloves of, over the tire wells. Yes, yeah. That, the wheel like, wells. Is that like a tongue on there, like underneath the hand, or is that like it's supposed to be a suit? Like the purple there, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, but I mean, it's just like Joker trim color. So yes. could, I guess it could be either one. That's a good point. Good I mean, it. it's, it's really interesting it's a jokerized batmobile yes yeah and even in the back you see his feet there uh coming out of it so it's like he's laying down through it and kind of just like laughing at you as he's you know and the, the crazy thing with this too is you were going around and actually murdering people at this yeah. point in the game so like the context of the batmobile the joker mobile in this case in itself is super cool because like it's the only time really or one of the only times in the entire series where you're legitimately murdering people at a horrible rate when yeah. you're going through and doing this. So it's it's got a lot of really cool context behind it. The design itself is insane and really well done. And, and the color coordination. The color coordination, the details everywhere. So I just, I love everything about this uh, Batmobile. Same, it's just, it's such a shame that you could really only play as it after that portion of the game if you're modding a PC version of the game. Yes, But at least I guess there's that way to play as it. Yeah, at least we got it a little bit. So yeah. I'm grateful for that. So the next one we have is one that has a very funny description that we pointed out today. Yes. Do you speed? You will. You will. The Batman v Superman Batmobile. It's very detailed. Uh, a lot of... I've noticed a real divide, too, in the, uh, the community of fans around Batman uh, between the design on this thing and the design of the new Matt Reeves Batmobile. A lot of people really like this Bat tank, uh, and a lot of people hate it. It's, it's weird how split it is. Like, a lot of people are like... Well, Batman wouldn't be, you know, out in a muscle car fighting crime. And then there's a lot of other people like, okay, but you gave him a tank with a turret on the front. Right. Where it's he literally murders people. Turret. Yeah. Uh, and the turret's here. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's a, we really like the design. And you and I both had a fun time with BVS. Neither of us would claim it's perfect. No. It's got so many flaws, but we really like it uh, and, and enjoy the movie. And we like the designs in that movie. This the suit like it's got good design i love and honestly looking at like the in this obviously isn't, we're not talking about the suits but the bat flex suit yeah. looks amazing and there's yeah. that one shot of where he's standing in front of this batmobile that is like iconic and i think yeah. it looks incredible both the suit and the bat mobile in that in that photo so with this Batmobile. I love the turret up front, and I yeah. love the design. It's kind of got a little bit of like a like a slimmer look to it, like the animated series. But then it just expands towards the front. I guess you know what I mean. Like yeah, you're right. Like the back is like very slim compared to the front. Like it's more streamlined in the back and the body versus the front that widens. Yes, and it's mostly just the tires that expand, which is kind of like I guess the difference between this and the animated series uh batmobile is that it's just it's the tires are brought out quite a bit and obviously and a angling. turret yeah, but yeah and the angling on the body itself but you i can see that in here too you're right yeah it's like there's elements of that classic batmobile in the design here 
but it's also so much its own thing. You can also see that there's inspiration taken from the tumbler yes. on things like the wheel wells and like the tires, you know, and the thruster in the back. It's like, yeah, I think it's meant to be kind of like a mix where it's like this is kind of a tank, but also it's slimmer and meant for speed as well, kind of like the animated series. So yeah. I like that. There's like a giant, almost like wing spoiler going on behind it too. That yeah, and kinda... the, the cabin is interesting. It's like split down the middle. Yep, and I love the just completely dark tint there too, which is perfect. So I I, I think it looks great, and this is obviously taken from the film, but I think they did a really good job of bringing it into the game. I so. do too. It really looks like it's out of the film. And one aside on this one, by the way, that I did want to point out, this car is in... Uh, um, Rocket League. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, they added this in as like a DLC car. They I did. remember because I was actually heavy into Rocket League when that came out. Yeah. And I bought the car because oh, I was yeah. like really excited to play as it. It's super uh, fun. That was back when we still had all the hype of the DCEU and it wasn't clearly like they were moving on from right. it. Like the future was great for BVS and all these other movies and uh, I know. I know. times have changed, I guess. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. The Rocket League prevails. <laughs> yes, it does. You can still play there. Yeah, you, you can. Yeah. They also added in, well, another one later on. Oh, did later, they? But yes, they oh, did. Oh, all right. So the next one we have is actually the original Batman Arkham Batmobile, which is really the one from Batman Arkham Asylum. Yes. Uh, you sort of see like a prototype of this being built actually in the Batcave uh, in Batman Arkham Origins, which is pretty neat. Yeah. Like he has a piece of the body of this thing, or at least like a prototype before it. But it's got a lot of different like features to it. Again, there are elements in here of the original, like the animated series car. Like I the, would say the even elongated. more so with this one. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot more. It's like elongated. There's more armor going on around the outside. But this is probably the closest to that. Uh, it's weird. It's almost a mixture between that design and 89 in some ways. With, it is. With and, armor. Yeah, and it looks a lot smaller compared yes. to what we, like the other ones that we've seen so far. It just looks like a smaller, more compact car, which I like though. Like the whole design of it like flows really nicely. It's nice and compact. And it's I like like the wings that come out of the back too. Um, and the giant turbo thing that's shooting out, uh, you know, the cannon out of the back. So yeah, you got like the uh, the thruster in the back there, or the booster. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's just a very sleek design, and I really, I just love that it looks like it came out of the animated series. Oh, same. So and and honestly, if you look at the piping on the side of it, I think that adds like muscle car personality to this like exotic car. Yeah. Thing, which is interesting. This is almost like something you'd see on the body of a motorcycle or a muscle car. That yeah. Like, uh, you know, obviously would have piping exposed, which really would be for looks. But still, like, it's it's very cool design in those terms. You have, like, the armor in front of the wheel wells, obviously. Like, I don't know if there's, like, any kind of purpose to that in terms of, like, ventilation or if it's just to protect the wheels. Even the wheels themselves are, like, a very unique, like, concave surface like you look how they dip in mm -hmm. like in terms of like inside the tire and the wheels and they have like the holes in them there's not really much here to confuse this car with something else no not at all and it's it's recognizable immediately because remember one of the first objectives in arkham asylum defend the batmobile yes that was real cool we got a question. yeah with guys beating it with a bat you're yeah. Just, yeah it's great and I love too that like there's with the uh, the like the glass like the windshield itself it's not fully black and tinted no. like it was so you can kind of see in there a little bit if you like spin around a little bit you can see some red you can see the buttons in there a little bit so it's it's kind of a cool thing you can actually see what's going on in there a little bit um, so I I just I love the entire design of this I like how it flows and um, like you said I just I love that it's attached to the animated series and in in, in Asylum which is a bit of nostalgia, I, I will admit, but I, I think it's great. So. Oh yeah, and, and because of that though, it was definitely a necessary car for them to include. Like they could not have gone through the series without including this. No, I totally agree. So our next one is what I, I would argue this got the mass market more into Batman by a lot. Not the, not the car, but the property this is from. For Even sure. far more than uh, you know some of the other ones on this list, the Tumblr. This did bring Batman into the limelight for the mass audience. It did so well. It showed that superhero movies could still draw in money. And in fact, it like was breaking records. It's, it did insane. And, you know, part of that was the design of like the characters along with Christopher Nolan and like the writing. But like the design of this car, too, is instantly recognizable. It's very iconic. This is I have a toy of this. 
Yeah, I actually bought the Lego for it. Or got from it from the Tumblr? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it's got like 2,000 pieces or, or something like that. So it took, I think we it took us like months to finally build this thing. Yeah. But it's, it's it, you're right. It's in, instantly recognizable. And it was something that I was trying not to allude to, but it's so obvious. Well, yeah, it's going to be up here. But this is in Rocket League as well. So it's like, it's everywhere. People recognize it. Oh, that's the Batmobile. Now, this is like our Batmobile of the generation, you know, yeah. for us. And I, I love just how much it looks like a tank. Yeah. It's, it's literally a tank. It's got all of the different metal pieces that kind of fold around uh, it and yeah. cover everything. The lights. The, like, you have, like, the floodlights here on the front oh, on top. Yeah, yeah. And in the middle and on the bottom. Like, everything about this is just iconic. And I understand that, like, there, there have been some critiques of this car of, like, it not being pretty. It is not meant to be pretty. This is a armored vehicle this is a military armored vehicle yeah it's and not going to be a majestic you know lamborghini going no, down the road no. that, that was supposed to be the point of it and you can even see here too like actually where the nose dips is where batman would dip down into the bat pod yes to yeah. come out of this thing absolutely yeah you can see and, and you like this this thing takes a beating throughout the uh, Dark Knight trilogy as well. Oh, yeah. So like you're seeing this thing, it's it's meant to take some damage. And I mean, the first thing that I think of is when uh, at the beginning of the Dark Knight, when they're in that parking ramp and it's just loiter, loiter, intimidate, and then it blows up their van, you know, and just kind of starts blowing things up around people. Yeah. So it's it's meant to be something where it's not like a speed uh, thing, like even uh, like even the uh, animated series stuff like that. Yeah. This is meant to be a big bulky thing, and oh, it's yeah. and they did such a good job with this too and and how like all of the pieces fit together and basically copy and pasting it from the dark knight trilogy and putting it into this game it looks amazing oh, it does and looking at this thing too i will say not to get off track it does make me wish a little bit that even though it was just for loading screens that we had skins for the arkham origins bat plane because if we had gotten you know the bat you know the one that oh, he has yeah. in rises yeah oof man i'm, yeah, I'm really like feeling it just thinking oh about my it. god they even think about that yeah, yeah th there's a lot of designs that hopefully they do drop on from the dark knight trilogy i know they do definitely vary and different from the comics but like they're real cool and they have their own personality and style oh they do yeah it's brilliant so there are plenty of batmobiles in this series but our final one that we actually we had to go with who can go wrong with this one? It was it 89. was tough, but yeah, you're right. It was 1989. Oh. Um, and first of all, I love that they actually put Batman next to it in yeah. the character model that we're looking at too. Uh, very cool. Uh, one thing I love is the grill on the front moves. It rotates. It's, yeah, yeah. It turns around and around, kind of like a, a bit of a turbine. Yes. On the front of the car, you have like the very classic like yellow floodlight headlights on the front. Yep. Parts of this car look like a toy. Honestly. It really does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it's it's got this weird look between plastic and metal. But yeah, I love the way that it looks. I love the wings and how they come out in the back there. I think that like it's, it's a like common theme with you. carved it. I love wings, dude. No, I like <laughs> that it's it's carved in like that. Yeah, that it actually looks like a wing though. And it's not just like a a straight kind of spoiler coming out of there. So I True. love how that looks. I like just the the yellow lights too. I think it yeah. really fits with that film because it's just kind of like a dark, you know, gritty film. Very moody. Yeah, and it even like it matches the logo of Batman too. So like it like. The yellow and the yellow that all like matches and coordinates very well. Um, I I love the uh, like the shorter kind of smaller more condensed and rounded windshield area where he's sitting. Um, I from big it like it flows really well and just looks great in the game and it's really fun to drive in the game too. It's very sleek too. It has like obviously some textures throughout and it does have some piping like going through on the side. But, like, this whole thing is just a very sleek design. I'd argue it's the sleekest in the game. Yeah. Like, the most uh, exotic car version of the Batmobile. And because of that, you really do feel, like, just really cool driving this thing down the road. When, yeah. when you actually go out in New Game Plus after the game and you oh, just kind of yeah. mess around with this, you feel awesome. I, I, I really, again, I do think that these would have been even so much more fun if you had battle mode. Especially the Tumblr, like we mentioned before. Like, that was the one where it's like, dude, that... If anything would have battle mode, the Tumblr would That's have the it. thing we came you to, know, yeah. It's like, yeah, that we talked about at the beginning was, yeah, that that should have absolutely had, tum like, a uh, battle mode. Yeah. I mean, like I said, that scene where it's they're blowing things up, you know, it's, it's just like loitering and blowing up a parking ramp. That absolutely should have had battle mode. But 
uh, it doesn't mean that it still doesn't look amazing. That it yeah, wasn't it's not fun. To drive. No, and and like the the maps that came with them too. Not to get too off track, but uh, the maps that came with them, like with the '89 and the Dark Knight, were really cool maps yeah. to drive around in too. Obviously, so. you know, you got Joker's area, you've got the Penguin sewer yep. area. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot there. There there is personality in these and. Despite you and me both having gripes with their inclusion and with how they were done and even with the focus on racing and cars versus, you know, on foot, we still love the Batmobile. Yeah. And we're really glad that you did get a game where you get to play as it. Maybe we just back off from a little bit next time, guys. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, we, we keep the designs, but we back off from hamstringing it into the, into the design of the game. That's no doubt about it, yeah. So, hey, thank you so much for checking out today's episode. Is it an episode? I'm calling it an episode. We're doing episodes. I do want to say, by the way, today, I almost forgot about it. We do have a Patreon pledge shout-out. Once a month, if you are a $10 patron, you get a shout-out in our videos at the end of the video. That is for Erwin, our boy, our man, our legend, who is a $10 patron. He is awesome. He's supported the channel. Thank you very much. If you want to find out more about the Patreon, there will be a link in the description down below where you can check it out. We got some fun rewards. Actually, a few behind the scenes videos as well of things going on. Behind the scenes posts. And hey, you know you're helping out your local boy. I appreciate you. Thanks so much. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.